log into itax via itax.kra.go.ke enter your kra pin and password enter the answer to the security stamp and click on login some might receive a data privacy pop-up. Click on I understand, then submit. You can as well click on the link for further information. Under the return menu, click on File Returns and select Income Tax Resident Individual. Download the Income Tax Resident Individual Excel form from the options given and save. Open the Excel sheet and click on Enable Editing you might get a 1004 runtime error. To solve this, save the document, then close and open the return once again. Capture your KRA PIN number, select type of return as original, Capture return period from as 1st January 2023 and return period 2 as 31st December 2023. In case you do not have any mortgage or insurance policy, click on Section F. Enter the KRA PIN of your employer as per your P9, name of employer, gross pay as per your P9, allowances and benefits of employer if applies to you, if not, capture zero. Compute your January to June gross income, January to June pension. July to December income, and July to December pension. Click on Section M labeled Details of Pay Deductions, and at this point, select Drop Down and Capture the PIN and Name of the Employer. Taxable salary from your P9, tax payable also as per your P9, and amount of pay deducted. Next is Section T, labeled Tax Computation. Here, we shall capture pension contributions for the full year and a personal relief for the year 2023 being 28800 Confirm if the details captured are correct, then validate. Go back to ITAX and upload the document under Upload File. In case you are logged out, just go back to the process of logging in, then upload the filed income tax document. Agree to the terms and conditions, then submit. Click OK to the question, do you want to upload the form? And your return will have successfully been filed.